The first deck that we're going to be doing today as we bust on into this new stuff is a uh, Raticate deck. Now, I, Raticate is not my go-to, but I saw this Brute Bonnet and I was like, okay, now Raticate, Raticate might be better. So, this is using Brute Bonnet. So, Brute Bonnet is one of the new cards, and Brute Bonnet says, If this Pokemon has an Ancient Booster Capsule attached, once per turn you can make both active Pokemon poison. Now... That's a lot better than Claude Sire, which says, okay, you need to have a stage one Pokemon, it needs to be worth two prize cards, and there has to be a stadium in play. This is a much easier way to do it, because it's a basic, and it needs a one card connected to it. So, hopefully this is a lot easier to make the Raticate work. Raticate says, put damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon until it's active, or until it's remaining HP is 10, so if they're poisoned, they just die. That's the combo here. Uh, we're going to see if we can make that work. Any other new cards that we're playing with? Uh, not particularly, so this one's actually pretty light. We're playing with the Counter Catcher. This is not a new card it's a reprint but it's we haven't had it in standard since i've been playing standard when we came back so hopefully we have some fun with that let's get started Dang it, everything all right all right i'm a little shaky y'all it's been a little bit it's been a little bit oh cheers What other decks are on the agenda for today? Let's see here. So, um, today we've got an Alakazam, a Spothra deck, a Roaring Moon Moltres deck, and we've also got um, Serena Vanillux. We've got, oh, hang on. Uh, we've got a uh, Iron Valiant, Iron uh, Jugulus, and a Garchomp deck. All coming up today. <laughs> What's up, Ashley, man? No cast form yet. Okay, this is actually pretty solid. Um, it sucks that we don't have our uh, uh, Rattata, but we have the Brute Bond and the Active Energy in the Ancient Energy. Now, one of the other things that's really nice about this Ancient Energy Booster, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, besides the fact that it has four words, I forgot we're playing with that new Absol too. Um, this prevents whatever's attached to it from being affected by special conditions, so... <laughs> uh, means we can't be poisoned, but they can. Uh, hmm. Okay, we're actually just going to put this on the Absol for now. Um, hopefully we draw Rattata. If not, we're a little sad. I might... The issue here is that we want to have a Rattata, a Raticate, and the Reversal Energy in our hand. But if that was all we had... Maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I know, right? I've been making I'm making decks like crazy. Just to have that fun. The noise that makes is so blarg. The noise in game, or am I making a noise? If I'm making a noise, I can try to fix it. Looking to pick it up cloth? Oh, the new cloth? Nice. Nice. Okay, so they look like they're doing something kind of similar here. Oh, the poison noise. I got you. Okay, they ditched Eradicate here. Do they get a Bibero? A Luminion. Okay. Curious what they pick. Maybe Professor's Research and say they have one card left? See that? Ha 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 Still got it. I need a silent stream for you. I'll work on that. Okay, well that was not what we wanted. Um, like at all. So now we are going to ditch two of these and go get a Rattata. We can't not anymore. I, I need I need a Rattata here. <laughs> we'll do it again. Okay. We got a little unlucky. We're gonna we're gonna blame that, not the fact that I suck at Rattata decks. Now the Roaring Moon thing is kind of fine. 
honestly, because our deck is nothing, nothing we have is worth two prize cards, and this card really shines when you can take out something big, beefy worth two prize cards, and we don't really have anything like that, so it's fine. Or a win by inches deck, you know what I mean? Okay, here comes Eradicate. Yeah, here comes Eradicate. Okay, and then nothing happened. That's a really good draw for us, actually. I want to get both of these other Eradicates back in my deck. So let's do that now. Maybe I should have waited till this Brute Bonnet went back in the deck, but it's probably fine. What did I mix Serena with? I mixed it with Vanillux, Batchet Man. Because Vanillux has an ability that says Pokemon with 40 or less HP cannot attack. And so if you can put something's HP down to 30 and then say it can't attack, that's a pretty, pretty nasty lockdown. We're going to see if it works. Vanillux is a stage two, so we're going to see how it fares against actual people. You know what I mean? Oh, I apologize. My turn is over. Hmm. A switch would be lovely here. Hmm. <laughs> yes. And this is what this is here for. Alright, so we're going to put the reversal down here now so we can draw more cards. Um, ta-da! Wasn't that great? Serena is the finisher, Batchetman. Oh, Okay. Okay, Thomas says just run two panic masks. That, that thought crossed my mind as well. That item seems really good. And maybe that's the like the conclusion we'll get to as well. Okay, so we get to, let's see here, play another Rattata out. Nest Ball for another Rattata. Mm, yeah, we probably should. Let's go get... Actually, because we have an Arvin in hand and we already have one Rattata, we're going to do this. I had another Brute Bond at Wiggles, you dumbass. Uh, we'll figure it out, y'all. We'll figure it out together. Let's grab that. Ooh, ooh, actually. Let's grab that. No. No, we don't want that. That'd be stupid. Yeah. No, no. It's been a hot minute since I played against people, y'all. Um, we'll just do that. Be smart here. We're going to use these because if we whiff, which we didn't, uh, but if we did, we were going to keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, we're actually going to grab the boss's orders here. That seems very useful. Okay. Ha! We whiffed on that one. Pretty poisoned. All right. I like this Absol, y'all. I really do. I think it's a good Absol. Some solid card draw, you know what I mean? Critical Bite Crobat? That's pretty good. I can see that. Oh, that would actually be nasty. Huh. I'd have to try that one too. I think that Serena card is going to be a really good one, y'all. I think that card's going to make... It needs to find its, its where it's going to be, but it's going to be really good when it does. Okay, well, the good news is that's the other Rattata I wanted. I guess we just keep drawing cards, right? We're happy here, right? Like, uh, don't need to poison it again. Don't really need to ditch anything. I guess we can ditch this other Brute Bonnet at this point. Okay. Okay, so Arvin can get them an Ultra Ball, which can get them, if they also have any items, any other tools, which they probably do because they're playing the one Ancient, they're probably playing two, they might get an Ultra Ball and an Ancient uh, Booster just to Ultra Ball that and this other card away for the Bibarel. That'd be what i do. Switch, okay. Okay, so they want to keep their Eradicate.
The Snorlax doll is really fun. It's really fun, Zenith. I like that card. You think your list is solid the way it's... Excellent, Thomas. Excellent. I hope you are correct, my friend. Okay, so they did that, and now we get to... We're actually going to use this one, because this one's uh, ready to go. It's We've got the reversal energy. We are better off with our reversal energy. Um, okay. So let's evolve this one here. We're going to put the dark energy here. We don't really want to boss's orders anything. Oh, they can't be uh, poisoned. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Well, in that case, we're going to do this one. And we are going to poison it. Almost fell for that one. Okay. Ta-da! The Pokemon Go set did have a lot of really good Pokemon in it. You're not wrong. Okay. Now what's funny here is because of their Path to the Peak out, if they play a Lumineon, they can't actually use it. I imagine they're going to get another Roaring Moon. This is going to be hard to beat. I didn't actually think about that. Other people playing with the Ancient Capsule is going to make our combo difficult. Not impossible, just difficult. Basically, I need that money. Need to use this for Tata here. As soon as we get a tool to help against Zard, we also get a replacement there. <laughs> yeah, bash it, man. You're not wrong. And I cannot believe that either about the January leaks. I'm pretty good about avoiding the spoilers. I like to keep the sets to the sets for the most part, except for the arts. I love looking at the art. Smart by them, because they didn't need to, because we poisoned ourselves. Smart. Very smart. Okay, so now we will put this other one out there. Hmm. The reason we're not going to poison is that would only do damage to us. Now they have to get rid of their own stadium if they want to kill us. Just something. Hmm. Hmm. Solid. Solid. They really want energies. I have a feeling we're going to be playing against a lot of Roaring Moon, which is good. Let's get the let's get the play patterns down, right? Let's learn how this card works. Okay. Okay. Now, if they use their big move here, we're actually a little sad. If they use the knockout move here, we're a little sad. If they don't, we're okay-ish. Ish. Okay, they used the smaller one. Now, they did, you know, use the big move there, but at least they got rid of the... I guess that doesn't really matter. I guess it doesn't really matter. Huh. Okay. Because of this counter catcher, we actually do get to take out this other Roaring Moon, which is kind of nice. That's kind of our last bit of gas, though, so we're a little sad. But we're going to get two prize cards, so hopefully that's something. Hopefully that's good enough. 
All right. Oh, right. I forgot. It comes down to coin flip. Come on, heads. Come on, heads. Woo! All right. Never punished. Never punished. Now we just have to find a way to take two more prize cards before we get our butt kicked. Which is going to be tough because they're about to knock out our Rita. The guy who initially posted the big stuff they were facing. It was surreal. <laughs> That's funny, Pete. Did some diving. It turns out they're not fake. Oh. Okay. That's fine. Um, this hand wasn't that great. <laughs> Hopefully the next one's better. I mean, it's a little late, but you know what? It's better than it could be, right? Hmm. This first game that we're playing into the opponent's deck. I'm realizing now, chat, I think... Uh, I think stuff that uh, discards Pokemon tools is going to be way better. Way better than I was giving it credit for. Not that I was not giving it credit, just, you know, not what it's worth. Really unfortunate this isn't an S-Ball. That would have been awesome. Guess it doesn't matter. Mm. I think we lose. Yeah, I think we lose. All right. GG opponent. Okay, so. We're not going to make any changes yet. That was the first time I've played against Roaring Moon. We need practice, we need some reps in, things like that. But okay, so if we could take away its ancient seal or its ancient booster, that'd be great. Hmm. Hmm. Yay! Woo! Nice! Sudden death rounds are always fun, who? It's wild that this game lets that happen. It's wild that it actually does happen sometimes. Only time I've ever done that was with the. Uh, Moltres V, Glaring Moltres V. Uh, I guess, yeah, Roaring Moon's probably going to make that happen a lot more frequently just because of how that works. Doing so much damage to itself. Neat. Not the worst starting hand we've seen. Not the best. A little energy heavy. I might have too many energies in this deck. I can see that. Because we're never going to be using... Ram never is a strong word. We're probably not going to be using Rampaging Hammer that much. We're putting this here to uh, posture that we're going to be using this, but we're not. If they knock this out, which I hope they don't, but if they do, we just reversal energy on the Raticate and be fine. Hopefully. <clears throat> I do appreciate y'all's patience as I also learn how all these new cards work. Oof, we needed that to hit. Well, that's a shame. Okay, here's what's going to happen. They're going to evolve the Growlithe. They're going to knock us out. We are going to draw Professor's Research. Never mind, that's not what happened. Well, it's certainly dead next turn. Mm. Mm. Okay, now we're going to draw Professor's Research. Now evolve the Growlithe. What's up, Jesus? Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, technically. Yup. Kind of a bummer, but here we are. Give me that. Yeah! Jesus, thank you for the gifted subs, my friend. G5 you didn't have to do that. Gifted a tier one sub to I appreciate Logo. you. Thank you so much for supporting me. It means the world to me. And if y'all got a gifted sub, thanks, Jesus. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad free viewing. I'm 617. G5U5 gifted a tier one sub to Blue Party G5U5. underscore hat. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jesus. G5U5 okay. gifted a tier one sub to Netta Costa 21. That's a really good draw, actually. Okay. okay. G5U5 gifted a tier one sub to Lena Millais. Okay. Oh, the new Overwatch was really... The new Overwatch tank was awesome. All right, so we're going to grab an Absol now because that card was actually way better than I thought it was going to be. And I want one. Okay, then we do our thing. We poison both of them. Which, haha, -ha, you're not ancient. You can be poisoned. We do this. And then bye-bye, Growlithe. Hey, we did the thing! We did the thing! Yay! It's actually a pretty solid draw. Uh, it's unfortunate that I don't think it's going to matter. I think this Raticate's going to die before we can get this. I want to get this down on the Absol so that if they knock out the Raticate, we can put the Absol out front, have this one energy, and use Draw Awareness. Which is such a strange name for an attack. Draw Awareness. Okay. My opponent is making some decisions right now and realizing that they didn't see where this was going. And realizing, I just lost my Growlithe. They do have a lot of cards in hand. I'm really curious what they have. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. We have a switch. Not my Brute Bonnet! This is actually even funnier. Because now we can use the poison when we can't be poisoned. And then we can switch. <laughs> and GG, opponent. GG, my friend. Yeah, there's a little too much energy in my deck. That's kind of the only the only thing that comes to mind right now. Woo! Woo! Okay. Solid, that was the thing. How good did it feel? Did the thing feel good? The thing felt pretty powerful. I mean, we only got to do it against a Growlithe, so it's not too good. Let's not pat ourselves on the back too much, but better than not doing it. Play Squawk and go up on the Super Rods? I could see that. The one thing I don't like about Squawk ability here is adding that first Pokemon that's worth two prize cards is a bigger cost than adding the second one, you know what I mean? Like, suddenly we would be a lot easier to, to squeeze some prize cards out. But we are playing Reversal Energy, so that's not a bad thing. So I can see that. See that? I have such a love-hate relationship with Reversal Energy. Okay. Well, this is a pretty... A pretty hand. Yep, it sure is a hand. This, these are some cards in our hand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yay! It's here. We might draw one next turn. Ooh, Trevenant. Hmm. 
<laughs> MF tree. <laughs> okay, is this a Charizard deck? All right. All right. I, it's been a long enough time. I don't hurt just hearing those words. Yay. I do appreciate y'all being cool with me taking a little break, by the way. Sometimes you just need to take a little break. You know, if something stops being fun and it's a hobby and you do it for fun, stop doing it, right? Take a break. Not my Raticate! My Rattata, no! It's okay. Honestly, this is fine. We have a Switch anyways. We're going to be using a Professor's Research, so might as well. Setting up camp resets. For, what do you mean camp resets? Yeah, exactly. We all need a break sometimes. Okay. Uh, whale. A little bit of a sadness thing here. Fair Absol back out front. I hate to lose both of these, but we're just going to pull the band-aid off there and do it. Okay. Get another Rattata here. Okay, let's ditch one of these energies. I don't want to ditch too much. Yes, I probably should have ditched two because we had the Lotto in hand and the Armin. And I have too many energies in this deck anyways. No Charmander is actually fine for us here. This Pidgeot's going to help them accelerate to that pretty quickly, but they don't have it yet. Again, we're not bad at taking out big, big, dangerous things. It's a lot easier if they knock something we have out first. Pokemon Sword and Shield with certain stronger static spawns, you can KO them, and when you open up your camp, they... Huh! That's pretty cool. Little, uh... Little mechanic, little mechanic. I don't want to say mechanic abuse because it's not right. You're you're just doing what you're supposed to, right? Doesn't sound doesn't sound like mechanic abuse. Okay, so let's see here. This one there. We're gonna Arvin this turn because we couldn't knock out. Uh... You know, actually, we could. Well, we could have before I put that energy down. It would have been possible for us to take out the Charmander, but that would have been a big investment on an Absol that's not going to do anything. Uh, so let's just Arvin this turn. Okay, and let's see here. We know we're going to grab the Ancient Capsule, but what else are we going to grab? Probably an Ultra Ball. Okay, so let's put the EXP share on this one. Put the Ancient Booster there. Mm. Hi, sheep! What's up, Wander? I wonder the other reason you haven't caught a stream in a while is because I haven't streamed in a while. <laughs> if we're being honest. How's it going, my friend? Oh, I appreciate you, Beans. I appreciate you. Thank you for the kind words. Okay, so here comes the Charizard. Okay. We're kind of set up, too, though. So let's see who wins. It's probably going to be them, because they have a Charizard. But it might be us, because we're doing shenanigans. <laughs> Cheers, Wonder. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, the danger here is boss's orders, right? If they throw a wrench into our plan, we have an issue. We have a backup plan, unless they go for the Brute Bonnet, but even if they go for the Brute Bonnet, we have a Nest Ball and another Ancient Booster in hand, so we should be okay here. 
I think they're going to go for the Absol. This Absol's kind of a threat because it just sits there and draws us cards. Okay, they're using up a lot of their resources here. And if they don't go for the Absol, we're going to put the Absol back up front. We're going to keep drawing cards. Ooh, been learning animation. That's exciting. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Where this is uh, what I would refer to uh, traditionally as my sad week, but it's not my sad week till the end of the week. So for this part, we're doing pretty good. Okay. Makes sense that they ditch the magma basin because they don't. Okay, are they going to go after our? They're probably going after one of these two things. That one's honestly the least threatening because we have the energies in hand and that was more of just, um, I was putting the deck together. Going after the ancient capsule would have been smarter for them. Um, and now it's not. Okay. Best draw on our deck here would have probably been the capture thing, but we don't, we didn't draw that. So that's okay. Okay, and now we're going to use this. We have another Rattata, so we're going to go grab another Brute Bonnet here. Make this even less interactable for them. Okay. That's tough. Do I want to just invest in this one? Probably because, yeah, because we already are going to be ahead here. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, and then we super fang. <laughs> it's even funnier the second time. What's up, Ayanami? How's it going, my friend? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Happy to be back. Any fun new decks? So this one's okay. The most fun new deck that I put together is the Garchomp deck we're going to be doing today and Serena. Those are both pretty fun. Y'all, that Garchomp card is like broken in half. No one's talking about it. The card has no retreat cost, 320 HP, and one of its attacks costs one energy, does 160 damage, and puts three energy from your bin onto your Pokemon however you want. That card is broken. No one's talking about it, though. I don't know why. I really don't. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Okay, that was a really good draw. We're actually going to put that one down now uh, because we're way more likely to, if they shuffle our hand up to get a, uh, a dark energy than we are to have the other double colorless we need. Um, okay, and then we're going to dish both of these. I shouldn't have done this this turn. Um, I probably should have waited, but we're going to go ahead and do it because we can. And I think we've got them locked out now, right? They they have to put something forward. Don Rhino, thank you. Ha, <laughs> they got mad. Thank you for the follow, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Hi, Milky Way. House is 50 smells so... Oh, yay. I love when the house smells so good. Sleeper card. Dude, Wander, look at that new Garchomp. It is so good. And its other attack can do 120 damage to any Pokemon. It's so good. No retreat on a stage two with 320 health. It's so good. Oh, I'm sorry, Barca. I didn't know you were under me. Just in my chair. What's up, Don Rhino? I like your name. Nothing to do with Pokemon Sword Show recently. Someone went into the code and saw how shiny Pokemon in the game actually work. They spawned the overworld even though I don't see it. <laughs> I came up with a patch to show some shiny. That's awesome. Ooh. That's a good point, Ayanami. You can use the, uh, the, I know the one you're talking about, the Cheryl, right? Who heals and takes the energy off. That's an excellent point. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Oh, that new card chomp, y'all. This is going to be so good. That's probably going to be my favorite card. I love ground type Pokemon. I know it's technically a water type because it's a terra type, but it's a ground type. It's a guard chomp. I wasn't looking. What are they playing? That doesn't matter. I think we know what they're playing. Exactly, Milky Way. Exactly, and it's a lot. It's a lot cleaner because of that. Because we don't have anything that's worth two prize cards, and we have this new Absol, which is great. Um, hmm. 
We're going to go ahead and get the Brute Bonnet here. I think that's smarter than trying to get the Absol, just because we're pretty far out from being able to actually use the Absol here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got it, Alex. We'll get that changed up after this round. Stack damage and then devolve for the... <laughs> That's mean, Batchet, man. You're a mean person for that. Garchomp is also searchable and has a decent fighting energy turbo. That's a good point. That's a good point. Oh, yeah, because of a Rida, right? I can search up the Garchomp. Nice. Nice. Is this the same opponent? Maybe we can make them give up again. Maybe. You tried this deck, you had the same idea? Nice! It's it's just one of those, like, this card's just a way better upgrade than that Claude Sire was, so not surprised. Great minds, Alex. Great minds think alike. There's another saying that we don't talk about too much, which is idiots seldom differ. Our society forgets that one. We go with the great minds a lot. Both are true. Okay. This is fine, actually. Use Dark Cry Sleeves and the Alolan Overcoming Nice. Okay, that's a pretty solid draw for us. Um, okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and do this first because I think we're going to switch this thing out. Um, but we want to poison this now while we can. Okay, so let's Ultra Ball away the one of the Turbos and one of the Lottos. Let's go get the Absol. This card is a lot better than I thought it was, chat. This card is a lot better than I thought it was. Especially because it's like a little Cleffa that doesn't have 30 HP. I would like to draw some cards, please. Okay, good draws, good draws. Okay, so if they get the Charizard, we're not quite set up yet. So we kind of don't want them to have it just yet. Odds are pretty high that they will, though. They have a lot of ways to get there. Or they just give up because they know the pain train's coming. <laughs> They're scared of a mouse, a little mouse. Poison this little rat. Also, that gives you a sneaky reason for a small water package like Manaphy and Radiant Greninja and uh, Luminion. Beans and Luminion. Garchomp's usable in water brain. Ooh, that's exciting, Wonder. That's half of every saying. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> I like that Milky Way. I like that. <laughs> oh, very true. Very true. Apparently what people are saying Roaring Moon and Garchomp are going to be the theme decks. Oh, okay. So uh, no one's sleeping on Garchomp. I just don't hear anybody talking about it. Ultimately, it's I'm a victim of the fact that I have a rather small group that we discuss Pokemon cards with. And it's all of y'all, so it's y'all's fault, really. I take 7% of the blame. Y'all get a big old 93. Congratulations. You're building Roaring Moon? Okay. All right. I'm also curious to see where Roaring Moon ends up. I say that with fear in my heart, y'all, because I liked the Charizard card when it first came out, and then it got shipped with Arceus and Pidgeot, and I liked it a lot less. So hopefully they don't do that to my boy Roaring Moon. Okay. Well, this is the kind of starting hand where you're like, Wiggles, I thought you said you had too much energy in the deck. Well, Wiggles, I did say that, didn't I? <laughs> Likely a complete saying, and you just think like great minds go, you know, you're probably right. Probably right. Seviper? I haven't looked at that Seviper card yet. Does it do extra things if they're poisoned? I'm unfamiliar with that card. Off the top of my head, I should say. Hmm. I'm Okay. I think we're going to be a little slow to keep up with an electric deck here. We have the right tools in terms of what our Pokemon do, but we went second and they are ready to go. 
That being said, this ancient booster does mean that the brute bonnet won't die unless they have they have to get another energy down, which they probably can, obviously. But they also don't typically evolve, so maybe that gives us a little bit of an edge here. Um, I shouldn't have done that now. That was a mistake. Yeah, I just messed up. Okay, we need to get one of these down now so we can start doing the thing. Um Yeah, I shouldn't have done that now. That was a mistake. Probably doesn't matter, but meh. Your boy messed up. Your boy messed up. Built a Golden Go deck with Scissor and Eldegoss. So nice. Nice. I haven't touched Golden Go yet. I'm waiting until I get the full art ones that I want. Like Roaring Moon is a solo deck, not being splashed in an engine, just three to four moon. Is supported. Yeah, it seems strong enough, Beans. It does seem strong enough. 180 damage if they're poison on a basic mon. Three energy though, one dark. Okay, so it's doable. It's doable. I agree, Milky Way. This set is awesome. Alex says, is this Absol better than my Rotom V? So that's an interesting question, Alex, because I think the Absol is... It's just different, right? Rotom gets a lot of tools in this deck. Rotom is on my list, like near the top of my list of cards I want to build around because of TMs. The new TMs with the way Rotom V works is going to be busted because they automatically put the TMs in the discard pile. You don't have to worry about putting a tool on a Pokemon and then not being able to discard it later or get it into the Lost Zone later for Rotom. It does it on its own. That's going to be so good. If y'all haven't touched Rotom with the TMs, somebody go touch that and tell me how it feels. That sounded way worse than I meant it to. Never mind. It does 220 for three energy as well. Okay. I've, I've tried the Scolipede. Scolipede being a stage two is a big problem for that card. Does know how to do reprints and listen to tournament success. Nice! Oh, no, wait, I wasn't paying attention. Am I dead? Oh, we're so dead. <laughs> oh, no, chat. Chat, we lose. <laughs> okay, if we rip a professor's research here, honestly, or just an energy, we should be okay. We need one of those two things, though. How about a brute bonnet? All right. All right. I wasn't paying attention we lost. Me paying attention would not have affected if we lost there or not. Don't get me wrong. But I wasn't. Oops. You know, in my head, people will ask me sometimes, Wiggles, what's it like having a mustache? And I'll sell them. I'll sell people in my head. It's great until a mustache hair gets caught in a metal can. If you're curious, that just happened. So I was in a stream the other night, uh, in a hunt stream, and we were talking uh, about how some of your hairs just start turning white when you get older. And I was like, yeah, it's weird. It usually happens after stressful things. I didn't. Oh, my God. You're right. Okay, I will go get Alex's coin. Thank you, sheep. Friend, Gunsink, you win the fight. Congratulations if you were looking forward to playing against me. I don't know why, and I apologize. Let's go get that coin. What's up, Sabossum? Do I like Texas Ranger? You're not the first person to ask me that. Alex, are you still here? Let's get you a coin, buddy. All right, looking at the coins. I do have enough to get a coin, so we're going to not just put it on ones I own. Alex, you let me know if you see one that you like. Scrolling slow. But yeah, so we were talking about how mustache hairs and, and just hairs tend to turn white and lose color. The next morning, I found one of my nose hairs turned white. I didn't know I was going to lose those two, y'all. Do you go bald in your nose? Not that I'm going bald. I definitely don't wear a hat to cover that. Naturally blonde, but you've never, you've never thought about having a blonde beard. <laughs> well, congratulations on your glorious blonde beard. I hope Alex is still here. I feel bad. Alex is like, wow. Missed my coin. I'm leaving and never coming back. Classic. All right, I'm going to scroll back up. Alex, if you, if you do not say something by the time we get back to the top, we will get you in between next game.
curl up and tickle your nose. Yep, I have that too. I've had beard hair or mustache hairs get tangled with nose hairs, y'all. The perks of being a big hairy dude. Right? All right, let's, uh, Alex, uh, when I see you, come back. If not, we can refund that. I should point at the camera when I do that more. Goes into your scalp, it comes out your nose and ears are fair. And why do I fight into the sink? Again, not that that happens to me. I definitely don't lose my hair. <clears throat> Full head of luscious hair. I have it actually like all clumped up under the cowboy hat, so you can't even see. It goes down to like my butt. Well, okay. You know, one thing I'm thinking about as we're playing this deck, y'all, I think we kind of want to trim the uh, the Brute Bonnet and Absols. I think we want three and three, because we don't really need four Brute Bonnets. We need two, right? Which means you want to play with three, because you need two. Okay, all right. We got some Ditto stuff going on here. I am, I am intrigued, my friend. I am intrigued. Also, it's the worst to find out the way you shave is the reason for irritating issues. Oh, you shave against your beard grain? Oh, beans, my friend. You can't do that. You can't do that. Okay. So, bound sweet. So, this is a Serena deck. Um, I'm curious how good it is. One of the reasons I really like the deck that we're playing right now is because we are we don't really care about how big and beefy their stuff is. We, we have our own combo strat that we're going to do, and we're going to try and get through that. And if it works, great. And if it doesn't, we tried. Right? It's not like a... There's not too much big brain going on with this. Escape rope, you got it, friendo. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out, by the way. Hope you all are having a good day. Okay, so one of the things I really like about this Absol as opposed to Cleffa is that we get to ditch some cards first. <laughs> That's really nice. Like, I don't need that. Uh, I'm going to keep the other two. I didn't need that one. Ooh, I like these cards, though. I like them. I like them. We really, really, really need an Ancient Capsule. Okay, I need you to stop escape roping. I don't appreciate it. It's rude. Every time. Every time. Uh, what are the odds on them being able to attack? Not zero, so let's go ahead and put this Rattata up front here. If they manage to evolve this one, uh, it can attack, so. Serena only needs one energy to attack. It prefers to have two, but it only needs one. Okay. I think we're going to go get a professor's research here. I don't want some card draw, you know what I mean? Opponent, you've got me at the end of my rope. Ha <laughs> It's not very mysterious if you do it every turn. Okay, so that might get them what, uh... Is Teeny? What's Serena evolving from? What's Bounce Suite evolving to? Stene? Stene. Teeny? Oh. It's got some ease in the name. That much we know for sure. Dartrix does not have any E's in its name, so I look really stupid right now. Straight up retreating. Okay. Okay. Bold. 
How dare you flap upon me? Also, I think that was kind of a mistake because now we can take out the Star Tricks. Hopefully. Play the other Absol out here. Go ahead and use this. Okay, we can. Um, so, what we do here is we retreat. That one up there. We're going to play this other Rattata out so we can use it next turn. That on the Brute Bonnet. Ha! <laughs> Dirt tricks. <laughs> I like that means. What you mean? It's dirt tricks. Okay, so bounce sweet coming out means they probably have the uh, Serena. Otherwise, they would have played one of the Mews out front, right? Maybe they were just kind of hoping they draw it, which would be bold. Boss's orders. The boss. It's fine. Um, okay. We are, like, I get why they did that. Uh, Brute Bonnet is weak to grass, so totally get why they did that. Um, and it has a three retreat cost. They don't know that we drew an Arvin. We know that we drew an Arvin. Um, and we know that the pain shall continue. And we actually get to use Toxic Powder first here and not poison our Raticate. I'm going to grab an EXP share here, um, put it on one of these Absols. Ta-da! We don't even need reversal energies. Thanks, deck. Is this another Dartrix? Dartrix! <laughs> okay, it is a, st a Stine. Stine? Let me count the E's. So there's four E's and three non E's. What For what that's worth. Stine. Stine. Alright, well, we're gonna do it again. This time they're definitely not going to appreciate it because it's that one. Let's put that down there so we can play our cards every turn. The Super Fang shall continue until morale improves. Pota's trying to play a little too fair, I think. I'd love to see a Heracross. That'd be cool. Heracross is a cool Pokemon. Hey, look, another reversal energy now that we're ahead on prize cards. <sighs> Yay. Hey, Cole Rest might be a little late here. Like, Dartrix is, or, um, Decidueye's a little concerning, but Decidueye needs some energies to be worth it, and if they don't have any energies, Decidueye's not worth it. <laughs> That'd be neat means. Okay. Do they have... Nope, all right. Woo! Woo! Alex, are you back yet? 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 We're going to open some packs and see if Alex comes back. First off, I would like my shiny pretty cards. Hey, all right, Alex, we'll get you that coin. Shiny core, shiny cards, woo! All right, let's go get the coin. Unidentified ghost? I want that. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Uh, all right. So what coin would you like, my friend? I'm going to scroll slow, and it can be anyone you want. We can even spend gold on it. So I'll scroll slow. Tell me what you pick. 
But cast form's a normal type, Batchet man. What are you talking about? What you feeling, Alex? What you feeling? Do any of these coins spark joy? Do any of them look lucky? Like we're going to win our coin flips? <laughs> I know what you meant. That's just being a butt. <laughs> Alright, so it Which coin you feeling, Alex? Use Tyranitar, a dark type. You got it. Where's that Tyranitar coin? Um, I think I own that one. Let's see if I already have that one. Thought I had a Tyranitar coin. I do, but that's not a dark type one. Let's see. I didn't catch the ghost. I see. I see in chibs. What is the ghost? What you catch? What's your idea, Wonder? I don't think I have a dark Tyranitar. I've got a dark or a Tyranitar. Let's do Tyranitar. If you change your mind and you want me to do the dark coin, let me know. All right, and we have packs. Stuff. We've got stuff. Okay. The, the Ancient Imprint's the one that lets you put the energy from the bin, right? Oh, Crocodile. Okay, I can do the Crocodile coin. Hang on, let's just hit this button and see what we get. And we got a full art Bombardier. Y'all, I made a deck using this that's uh, the monkeys. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> I call it Stork Monkey. All right. Crocodile, right? Crocodile? Oh, it was a Crook. I gotcha. I gotcha. All right. The ghost was a crocodile. Crocodile's not even a ghost. What? It's a dark tech. Weird. All right, Tyranitar coin. Don't lead us wrong. Luck. Oh, but damage counters on the enemy active until 60s. I gotcha. I gotcha. The monkeys are surprisingly good. The issue with the monkeys beans is that the monkeys are really interactable. That's kind of where my struggle has been with them. Oh my god. Oh, Chibs wasn't lying. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, we get to start with the Absol out front, which is kind of what I'm realizing is our preferred way to start here. Oh, thanks for the gift, Alex! Okay, opponent's got some shinies. Opponent is playing Bibarel. That doesn't tell us much. Um, which is unfortunate. Well, this still doesn't tell us much. We already knew they were playing with that one. Okay, so we're going to play Rattata out here. We're actually going to put this energy down on Rattata because Absol could attack first anyways, and this way we're getting closer to the Raticate being able to do its thing. Um... Let's go ahead and Ultra Ball away. Um, the reversal here. Let's go grab a Brute Bonnet. I wanted to play as many cards out. We don't know what they're doing. They might be shuffling our stuff around. Make a mill deck with Wish Cash. Okay. All right. Hmm. One thing I really like about that Garchomp is that that Garchomp can play with the Grubby Pickaxe. Or Gutsy Pickaxe. Okay, so they are a uh, Katsuguri Dodonzo deck, I assume? Dondozo? Probably? It's a brew, whatever it is, which is exciting. Oh god, I love fresh sets. I love when a fresh set drops and it's just new decks everywhere. It makes me so happy. That doesn't stop us. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, I'm going to switch around a little bit here. 
So now we can't retreat. That's that's why they did that. Which is fine. Let's do this first. See if we hit. Nothing. That's fine as well because this double turbo is going to go up on Absol. We're going to draw us some cards. We don't need to retreat. We're here to draw cards. Not bad draws. Yeah, I'm thinking it's Dondozo stall as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Big agree, Wander. Big agree. Well, they made me shuffle my Raticate away. That was rude. Doesn't actually matter, but it was rude. And they should feel bad. Okay, let's put this uh, here. I see no reason why not. The energy, get some cards. <laughs> sure. Sure, why not? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. That hand sucked. <laughs> okay, hey, we got the ancient booster. That's what we needed. That's what we we're looking for here. Wish she would stop taking my toys away, but whatever. Okay. I'm curious what they go after here. Okay, went after the double turbo. It's, makes sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab another... Hmm. They don't see. We know they play with bosses' orders, so it would probably be smarter to get another brute bonnet because we have two radicates or ratatas out already. So let's go ahead and do that. Put that there. We're so far from being ahead, or from being behind, that, yeah. Seems pertinent to ditch that. Would rather have more chances to draw, which I'm glad we did, because the Arvin's a good draw here. We need a switch of some sort. If opponent's trying to lock us out, we're not really a deck that gets locked out very easily, so, yeah. We're going to put the double here so that this one has a, an EXP share. So that way, if this one dies when we switch it out next turn. Um, let's just do a switch here. Okay, it's already poisoned, so we don't need to re-poison it. Okay, now this might unlock what they're doing. They might be trying to play with reversal energies and play from behind as well. So maybe, maybe. Can't be sure. Absol being the filtering that this deck needs is really nice. Really nice. Really nice. Okay. Okay. Well, that's something. Now they're going to get a Bibarel so they can have their card draw. That's unfortunate for us that they're going to get ahead pretty quick here. We need to draw a switch. Um, yikes. Okay, well... Wait, does that work that way? It doesn't. That's funny. Cynthia doesn't work well for them because the Pokemon wasn't knocked out last turn. It was knocked out on their turn because that's how the checkup thing works. Stop doing that. Okay, Mimikyu doesn't stop us. So they're definitely just a uh, like a lockdown deck. They're trying to be all controlly and whatnot. Hmm. 
No, oh, yeah, they shouldn't have done that. Hmm. Very curious. Very curious. Because, how many energy hammers are they through? Because I'm thinking, okay, they're through three. They probably don't have any more, and if they do, it probably won't be a hoods. So we'll just go ahead and put this here. All right. All right. Play this game with this deck and then do the giveaway and do one more game. Move on. How's that sound? Squavit. Okay, Squavit Bibarel. That's a nasty combo. It's going to be most of their deck. Now we need to find out if their deck actually has a way to beat us or if their whole strategy is just to stall. Um, Snorlax is back, I'm assuming. Snorlax over Mimikyu because Mimikyu doesn't do anything to us. I respect that. Snorlax also doesn't really do anything to us, though, so it's whatever. I'm curious if their deck actually has a way to beat us. It probably won't have their fourth one, and it probably won't be a heads wiggles. <sighs> I was here. I remember saying that. At least we can poison them without needing anything to do that. And see, Path to the Peak would have stopped Clodsire. Path of the Peak has been running around, and it does stop Clodsire. It doesn't stop us. Oh, notable. Notable things are notable, chat. All right, we're going to put it on this one. Poison you again, you fool. And I end my turn. Glad I'm playing a lot of energies this time. Um, they are out of crushing hammers now. And it only cost us most of our double turbos to find that out. Yay. Luckily, they're not really doing anything, so it doesn't, like, matter. Um, okay. Okay. They're gonna give us card draw. Are they trying to get us to deck ourselves? I could see that. I don't think it's going to happen, but I could see that. That's a pretty good draw. Unfortunately, it doesn't really help when... Um, oh, wait, yeah, it does. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we are going to... Boss's Orders, the Bibarel. Going to retreat the Absol. That's our last double turbo. Put this here. Use the Powder. take out the Bibarel. So that's their card draw. They can still squab it, but now they can't draw cards when they do that. So, And they can't Thornton back a Bibarel. They can Thornton a Bidoof back if they have that, but you know. don't actually hate these. Even though we're ahead, this is still an energy, so I don't hate it. I'm glad you had fun, Curly. How'd it go? How'd your Quack of All deck do? And welcome in, by the way. Yeah, they're getting whatever they want out of their deck, but they're not winning the game, and they're thinning their own deck. Of course, they could... Remember, they put the Iono and the boss's orders back in their deck. Was it the Thornton or the boss's orders? I think it was... Hmm. I own one something. Went back into their deck. Okay, so they are done with Squavit. They're going to let us have the Squavit. That's a good draw from us. It's first here. Mm, it's a little risky. It's a little risky of a play. We're going we're gonna to sandbag this one. Just hold on to it until we, we are sure we need it. And for now, we'll also put this here. It's Toxic Powder. 
Super Fang. See, if they, we know they play with the Grabber. If they play the Grabber and take out these Brute Bonnets, we don't really care. But if we use the Professor's Research and got some Rattatas and Raticates that we can't play yet, and then they Grabbered, we'd be sad. You only won once, but you still lost a set. Oh, that's unfortunate, but at least you had fun, right? You lost everything. <laughs> I love the smile after that. That shows you're having fun. Okay. Brute Bonnets back to the front. It doesn't matter. This time, we've, we're set up to deal with that this time. Drawn energy? No energy. That is actually a pretty solid draw, though. We're going to hang on to this um, for at least a bit here. This doesn't mean we have to use this other Eradicate, but it's fine. And if they're going after more card draw, then like, okay, what are you, what are you drawing towards, fam? What are you drawing towards... People were so good. Awesome! That's awesome. And everybody was nice to you, right? Because if they're not, I'll come I'll come, and I'll give them a stern talking to. Like, be nice to my friends. Another Rattata's a good draw. Unless they play the Grabber now and we're sad. But, you know, whatever. Iono. Okay. Glad we didn't play that Professor's Research out. Okay, that's actually worthless. This one's not, though. Uh, this might save us. Depending on what they do. Oh my good. I got so many cards for nothing and also Nice! That's awesome. Okay. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and put this other eradicate out front. If we had an energy, I would have considered the Absol here, but Maybe we should have done the Absol. Nah, we kind of we kind of want to like bring this home. Like we want to like make some things happen here. Okay, they're gonna de-evolve both of our Raticates, which means that Rattata died. <laughs> sad, very sad. Rip that Rattata. One energy, please. One that is not an energy. Hmm. Okay, so let's evolve this one back up. Um, are we through? We might still have a lotto in the deck, so let's go check. Yeah, we did. Nice, nice. EXP share is a good draw, too. Let's go ahead and put that on one of our Absols here. It still counts, chat. It still counts. It does enough. You traded your uh, absolute EX for a little discount on Quackable. Okay, all right. That is a great full art. That is a great full art. Okay, so are you dead yet? Do you have any other answers? That's not gonna do it. Now, this the fact that this deck just like stonewalls Cynthia so good there because she they didn't die on our turn. They died on their turn. Ha 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 ha. Opponents are shuffling. They're a shuffling. Is it good enough? Not good enough. Goodbye, Bidoof. Woo! Victory. All right, let's start the giveaway and do one more with this deck. We'll move on. The exclamation boy, take it if you would like a chance to win. And one more into the breach with this one, and we'll see what we can do. See if we can do it again. This has been a pretty solid deck. Woo! Exactly, exactly. Uh, 
Uh, right now we're doing a Brute Bonnet Raticate deck. We've got six different decks to try today, and they're all pretty different. Um, next up, I think it's Alakazam Espothra next, so we're going to see if we can make that Espothra card work. And then after that, I only put the first three decks in the stream title because there's a lot, <laughs> and they wouldn't all fit. Uh, then a Roaring Moon Moltres deck, and we've got Garchomp, we've got Serena, and there's one more in there somewhere that I have forgotten what it is. Okay, Absol's good to start with. Again, that's a, I like starting with this card. Okay, it's this looks like okay. So we're up against the Mew deck, um, Mew V Max. Maybe I don't know how we're gonna fare against this one. Six decks, I know, right, Milky? I'm making up for it. I wanted to stream yesterday or Friday, but that did not end up panning out. So it's like, all right, we'll just do six on Sunday. A long day, a long stream. Okay, so this again doesn't matter. We don't have a way to stop their Genesect stuff. That is sad. Um, that that makes us sad. We are sad. Sad. Um, let's see, we only have one. Poisoning it doesn't matter because the Mew evolves, so I think it's more important that we get the Raticate or Rattata going. We went first, so we can't attack anyways. So let's just slap this energy down here. Right? Uh, I could see this being a mistake if they manage to knock out this Absol this turn. If that happens, this was a mistake. If that doesn't happen, then I think this is the right play. <laughs> Pokemonster Rally! <laughs> the Milky Way, I'm not even, like, getting started. Like, we are just getting going here. There's gonna, there's so many new decks in this set. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Cheers, Tatas! Oh, I'm out of Red Bull. Water it is! Yay. Cheers, Tatas! In a Hemi Dodge Ram this Sunday, 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 Sunday at the Megaplex, Plex, 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 Plex. Indeed, Sotatos. Okay. Do they get to knock out the Absol? Maybe. 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 Wait. Okay, Curly, I'll wait. You're playing against the exact... Yeah, this is one of the most powerful decks in the set. Um, still. This, this is the deck that's going to rotate out next year. But for now, it's still... You're having fun. <laughs> Lots of choices, who? Lots of choices. Altaria is fun. I'm going to put that Altaria in the Gudra deck, and it's going to be awesome. Okay, Arvin's a pretty solid draw here. Um, but we're going to do this, because if we hit a, um, a boss's orders, that might be what we do. Hmm. Because we can't... If we could do, like, if we were one Arvin away from being able to eradicate this Mew, we would do that, but we're not. So we're going to boss's orders this Genesect to the front that has all this, uh, all this room to, to not retreat. You know what I mean? Um, okay. And we will put, let's see, hit an energy here. We did. Bit of a bummer that it's that one, but we're still going to do it. We're actually going to put the reversal on the Absol now, because the double for the, Rat or the Rattata will be enough. Let's do this. We're going to ditch one of these, because Arvin can get us one, and works give us more draws that way, which is good, because we needed that Brute Bonnet. Now, Arvin next turn can get us a Ultra Ball and an Energy Booster, or an Energy Capsule, and we can take out the Mew, depending on if they get the Mew out front. You know what I mean? Different trainer cards, but that was brutal. And it was first. Oh, first match against Mew. That is brutal. And yeah, Batcha Man, this deck's won a lot. Uh, I don't know the exact, uh, exact most recent one, but yeah, it's it's definitely been in one of the top decks for a while. It's just so resilient between the Cramomatics, the card draw from Genesect, Mew getting to use anything's attack, 
Mew having no retreat cost. It's just so resilient. Okay. So they could get another... Well, they... Another Mew, but yeah, they don't have a, an empty bench slot here. So they're just trying to get some card draw going. They should have failed to find, though, if they're just trying to get some, some stuff to draw cards with. And now we're not going to force the issue here. Rainbow Alex, thank you for the follow, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Enjoy your Lurk Tatas. <laughs> That's good, Curly. That's good. Okay, so they did have a switch. Okay, so we get to do the thing. They're going to hate this, and we're going to love it. It's going to be great. Okay, they have done it. They have destroyed this. No. All right, so now we put the Rattata up front. Put the Brute Bonnet there. Unfortunately, this is kind of it for our, our gas here. We we need to really get something good with the, uh, the prize cards. It's probably going to happen, but we do need it to happen. Okay, we have to ditch... Unfortunately, we have to ditch these two energies. I guess we could keep that one and ditch the rope, because we don't need the rope. And this way we're more set up for next time. Let's grab the Raticate. Oh my god, I forgot. Oh, it's got that stupid energy. Alright, alright, you win. Oh, that deck is so not fun to play against. So the other thing is that their energy prevents abilities from having any effect on their Pokemon. Which is just like, in case they weren't strong enough. Um, you think Roaring Moon can be meta? Yes, Ayanami. I think Roaring Moon, when it gets figured out, is going to be everywhere. Played against Iron Hands, which is a deck I know answer to you, because poor hand also weakness. That's true, and it's a new deck, Curly. Hard to, hard to know what to do against that. I will, Tatas, I will. And Milky Way, enjoy your lurk, my friend. <laughs> no, it's not. It's whatever you want to play against me, who you you redeem them points. In Japan Regional, Iron Hand destroyed the Mewtwo. That's good to know, Ayanami. That's good to know. Why do you hate Roaring Moon, Curly? Is it uh, just too powerful? Just not your not your cup of tea. You don't like instant knockouts. All right, let's do the giveaway. Actually, let's do the wrap up then the giveaway. All right. Um. <clears throat> so, this deck was a lot better than I thought it would be, and it feels a lot better than Claude Sire. Uh, big upgrades, big improvements. Uh, some things I would make changes to. We don't need this much energy. Probably only need four dark. Go down to just twelve total energy would probably be fine, especially when we're playing with two Lottos. Um, don't need two XP EXP shares. Just need one of those. Um, probably some grabbers, some other interactions or fun ways to mess with that. Some ways to, so there's some spots we could, we could definitely free up. I'm not sure exactly what to add. Would want to go up to three Absols though. Know that Absol's a really good card. Um, but yeah, I liked this deck. This is fun.